and national team reported to the vice president about the plan to reform Raskin Rice Farm Football Program, which many of you will be aware about this one. At that time, Pak Bawang presented about introducing CAR. Because you know this is a program that's been in place for quite some time and the performance remains very mediocre. So we would like to make some adjustment. We reported, we would like to do this by using card and then distribute it to the beneficiaries. Because he is very smart, as you know, he is one of the smartest guy I ever worked with as an economist. And he said that that's a good idea, but before we scale up, roll it out as the national program, why don't we try to do some pilots? Let's test if this idea is actually going to work on the ground. And then Pak Bamba asked me, what should we do about that? Okay. And then he also assigned Elan, another team of the enemy to to do some rapid operation about using card for possible improvement with the rice portable program. And then because I've been communicating with my colleague from MIT and Harvard, especially Abhijit and Ben Wolfen and Rima, I contacted them, I sent email, I just finished meeting with the vice president would like to know about this Raskin uh, innovation. Would you be interested to join with us or helping us in you know, doing some randomization about this idea? Because <coughs> there we have a baseline study done previously with the World Bank on the target of income. That was very expensive. So this study is actually very cheap in terms of you don't need to have a baseline uh, study before doing some intervention. So basically then Yes, that's a good idea, I know that's great. But in addition to that, I also would like to do something else. And that's also in line with the request of Vice President, because he would like to know two things. <coughs> First is whether the interesting card will improve the allotment of Raskin. Secondly, he's been thinking about, you know that Raskin has been monopolized by local elite, especially health of the village, to distribute Raskin from the distribution point to the household. What if we also invite a third party, let's say community, to engage, distribute rice to the household? Will it also will it improve the allotment and reduce the gates? So we both agree to do that. I mean, the NPTK, I represent the NPTK, and JPL Southeast Asia here at the big Calvia. Here's the structure of my talk. Very brief on Raskin, even if many of you already know. But some are very new with this, especially uh, Sarah, and my family has known this for quite some time, and many others. What is Raskin all about? And a very brief on the experiment. Why are we doing work here? And the third and fourth part is about the detailing about how did we implement the idea that was supposed by the vice president. So this is basically, I was there. This is genuinely a team and freedom. How people from America come to me, tell me what to do. So actually I asked them to help me. So this is very clear from the beginning. And then I will compare the result of the introduction of the card and also on this uh, uh, in involving communities of third party to pay for the rice. And then I'll compare the result of the two innovations and then I will summarize with the major takeaways and what have been uh, the impact of our studies about Raskin. <coughs> As many of you aware, we are working on the development of many social systems in developing countries, not only to Indonesia, not well implemented, you know, simply because of leakage and the cost rate, corruption and everything. At the end, many people who are eligible, who are supposed to be getting the allotment are not getting. And as Len Richard, you know, our colleague, used to say that leakage can be better politically, and once you are in, it's very difficult to get out. So reform is very hard in many programs, not even in developing countries, even America. He also gives some example about the exit strategy of program. And in Indonesia, Raskin is point in this that we can, uh, I think Hastuti and Sultan and everyone here has done many, many studies about, about, about this program. I was involved at the beginning of the setup of this program in 96, 97, 98 during the crisis where I was working for the World Bank. Pastor was also working with me at that time about the introduction of the OPK, Operasi Pasar Khusus. At that time, only about 10 kilo with 1,000 rupiah. And then, about 10 years ago, eight years later, changed name to Raskin with the allotment of 
15 kilo at the 1600 rupiah per kg. Some of you believe in another way. Raskin is actually the largest social assistance program in Indonesia. It costs more than half of your social assistance. This is a national program, not to include the local program. So sometimes we didn't make any fuss about this one, but anytime we invent it or we introduce this new program, people make a lot of noise about it. Raskin has been there for quite some time. And this covered at least now and also next year plan to be about 15. Uh, 0.5 million household, and that, as I said from the beginning, that the village head, Lurak and Kepala Desa, are responsible to distribute Raskin from the distribution point in the household. So they hold the monopoly, right? After more than a decade of the program of medicine, this is what we found. Sparrow studies, World Bank studies, ENPs, UK studies, that in reality, their household paid 25% higher than the stipulated price. And they purchase on average about one third, about five and a half kilos instead of 15 kilos. As a result, they only receive about 30% of the subsidy that they are entitled to. So, no wonder if poverty did not fall that fast over the last 15 years, very flat. And we know that Raskin is very important staple for many poor. That's why uh, one of the reasons why poverty didn't fall that much because of Raskin ineffectiveness. So we identified three issues here. Program transparency, monopoly distribution, and conflict resolution. The first one is people didn't know what they are entitled to. This is true because studies by the bank, about 30% people know what they are entitled to. When I sent this concept not to Daniel, why are you doing this button? If that's the case, why don't we just socialize it and tell them that you should have knew what they are. That's a good point, but we'll tell you why it's not as easy as what you thought. Because we've been doing a lot of socialization, it's blocked by local, it didn't work, television doesn't want to air something that is for public good. They like all the politics. Second one is the modern body distribution, as I said. Head of the village, Lura and Kepala Desa, have the monopoly right to distribute rice from the Qatar Lurahan in the household. And the third one, this is the not next use. This was at some point eligible, a uh, uh, legitimate uh, excuse for the health of the village not to distribute rice to the intended household to which is conflict and to contain the social harmony of the village. Well. So here is what Ipong tried to answer to the study that we worked together at that, at that time. Introducing Raskin Cut and allow outside bid people to bid for the rice from the program. And as I said from the beginning, to build this evidence and then I call up my colleague who already had the baseline, a good one, to introduce this one. And the presentation of the card one is actually based on the paper that I co-author with uh, Abhijit and this team from Boston area and also uh, Columbia University uh, uh, children card. And the second paper on the distribution is now being drafted and will come out soon. And this has never been presented in the academic seminar in Indonesia. The, if you go to the website and look at the paper, it's very detailed and we discuss also about the theoretical setup, but I don't think we're interested to talk about that here today. Okay, so what are we doing what we are doing in the experimental design? As I said from the beginning, we would like to make sure that the outcome of our intervention is really attributed to what we intend to do, not by something else. That's why we are using randomization, because it's reduced bias, because every village in our study has the same lab chance to be selected as a control or treatment group. So that's why we are doing it. So when comparing outcome within areas, it can be village, or district, or household, you know, uh, the outcome may be, if something better than the other, the outcome of it has something to do with something else, not in the pattern that we introduce. Why is that so? Because of the exogenous or initial condition paper and things like that. So Raskin overcome this by doing a lottery, selecting the 600, close to 600 villages to be assigned in the control and treatment group. And they are statistically equivalent before the treatment began. So any differences in outcome between treatment and control, we can be sure are attributed or it's because of our intervention. 
So you cannot tell me about Daniel or about Asaf. You know what about you know in the Chennai issue? What about that article? This article? We also use IP for our estimation, but actually we isolate from the other factors because of uh, something else. So randomization actually guarantee or encode that outcome from our interventions are uh, actually uh, can be pointed out. So just to give you the, this is the visualization of 600 villages. First we have to select, the first thing what is the ID card? We'll tell you the detail later. That's the green one. And then the blue one is we, the second sub steel treatment is the rest in addition to giving card, we also give this so-called enhanced socialization. We'll also tell you what is enhanced or that. And then the remaining villages is called control villages. So study carried out in three provinces, six Kabupaten. Okay, to save time, you don't have to, you know, collect baseline data or selecting new villages. We use everything that BB Alata Center team did a couple of years ago uh, about the targeting experiment. So we have all the data needed as a baseline so that you can have a balance control between the treatment and control. Uh, in three provinces, one is in, this is near my city, Pemalang and Wonogiri, Central Java, uh, Palembang and Okan Komering Ilip, this is Paksai Kurun Tang, South Sumatra, and Bandar Lambung and Central Lambong and Lambong. Originally we have 600, but because of administrative issues, because of accessibility, we dropped about 28 villages and ended up having 527. The first thing cut by the let me just make it simple. I think what we can was smart, smart because of why card. I think if you look at the theory of why we're using card, because card, one of the benefits is they, are, they empower the beneficiaries. I have a card, just like a credit card. I'm entitled to 15 kilo paying for one or 1600. That's one beneficiary. But at the same time, actually, you are also entitled to empower the village head if thinking that we'll be tracking down the local government for monitoring. So it's very easy to just doing this. You come to me asking for 10 kilos. No, you cannot do it because you don't have a card. And then it, the excuse, they will be played by local, you know, it's not my, you know, it wasn't me who decided to get car and not car. It was Ipong Korwanto from KMP2K who be played. So that's in theory that why the car introduction is actually makes sense theoretically. Now, the question is what kind of car really that you would like to use? Is this just a car or do you need to also vary about the what type of card that you would like to put into the intervention? ID card is yes. So for that purpose, we also vary our treatment into sub-treatment to test a different kind of card. The first one is on the design. Coupon on without coupon. The idea of giving coupon is that so when you empower the beneficiaries, you know, if you disagree with the condition, you didn't give up the coupon. Keep it yourself and then you can report it to whoever is responsible for us in program. But at the same time, you can also empower the Lugak or the head of village that, see, this is the proof IT of 100 card from this village. So if there is an inspection from Kulok or anybody come to my village, I can show it. So this is about 189 villages uh, sub-treatment and the key, uh, design. First design. Second one is on the content. What should be put in the content? Price and no price at the distribution point. Again, the idea is whether exposing to more information will help improve the program. The third one is on the distribution. Again, this one is uh, giving it to the all beneficiaries or just giving it to 10%. This is my idea. I'm very proud of this one when we talk with the budget and everyone that one. Basically, it's just a test between the individual knowledge and village need to worry about being cracking down about cars. So let's just, if there is a tenant problem in the village, just keep the car on the bottom 10%. Forget about it. You would like to distribute among yourself, good, figure it out. But make sure that those at the bottom 10% receive what they are entitled to. 
And then finally is socialization. Do we need to have just very simple socialization or need to have an enhanced socialization? We'll tell you more about it. This is to test a common knowledge facilitate the collective action. So for those of you who are in the political science aware about this one, simply because it turned up is just giving information to individual beneficiaries. Well, enhanced actually also you letting people in the community knows that Adam are receiving 15 kilo halo halo, you know, before uh, Mahrib or Asar, uh, people uh, prepare the script. Raskin akan datang jam sekian, harganya sekian, yang akan terima ini, ini, ini. You also put in the public uh, uh, space. See what happens. Very quick. So the card sent to the post office, uh, mid-September September to mid-October, 378 as a receipt card, remaining control. Here is the design of the coupon. So you can fill up the coupon here. If you know the rice come that month, and then uh, if you disagree with, you can keep it yourself. Um, here is the socialization variation. This is what so called the standard socialization in 100 villages is basically letter and list of beneficiaries sent to the villages. Well, the enhanced socialization is letter, list of beneficiaries, information poster, and public announcement and socialization of village leaders. So, mostly in the malls here, uh, or Langar, or you know, the street. And actually, we have the John Talk, John Talk, the street, how we announce publicly. So, this is just to test with just giving individual uh, and public. And then again, the remaining did not receive any socialization. So, here is facilitator explaining about the program in the community. So, in, in summary, about this intervention, actually we have a 16 different combination of looking at the price, no price, bottom 10 percent for all beneficiaries, bottom 10 percent price and no price, and then standard and in hand. So we'll compare this with our control that we are doing anything about it. See what happens. So what are the results? Very simple, uh, very quick about the uh, data and analytic, analytical strategies about this one. Data came from follow-up survey, two months and eight months of the participant day. Why is it two months? Because at that time, you know, hurry up, hurry up, you would like to know what is the result. Because at that time, uh, Vice President Budjona would like to make some field adjustment. If this is really going to happen, we have to get everything by December. But for some reason, Mr. Susilo Kman Yudhoyama decided not to do anything about it, so case closed. And then it's just another headline and eight months later, but we have some evidence. At some point, the analysis we stuck between the three and eight months. This is a bit okay, still okay. We oversampled all beneficiaries. We also interview the head of the village. And we use administrative data for eligibility status. We have a baseline consumption to check about the balance of treatment and control. So everything is check, 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 check. We have a combination of many, many sub-treatment. So the check is not only between control and treatment without variation, so we also check about the sub-treatment in our treatment group. So the estimate is basically intended treat, i.e. impact of being in a village randomized to receive card, and we uh, estimate separately between the eligible and non-eligible households. So what are our findings? First, very promising that 28% percentage point increase in receipt of Raskin card by eligible household. You might ask why? Why not 100%? There are many reasons why they did not distribute card to the household. Lost in transit and blocked by half of the village. The name didn't match. Sometimes the whole village, sometimes some individual in the village. So, but still, here is what we found. And eligible household in the treatment purchase about 22% higher than the control one. So this is quite uh, uh, promising. In terms of the price, the price fell by about 9%, 60 rupiah. Is that big? Very about big. 60 rupiah sometimes can be very important for people in the village. This is a kilo, we have to remember. A kilo if you multiply by 15, that's some, some money. Not for some of you who are here, that's important. That's rice purchase increase, price fell as a result. 
the total of money increased by about 24%. This is P times Q. Price, we choose quantity increase, and then you end up having additional benefit about 7,000 rupiah per household per month. But moreover, this is very important. This is distinguishing between the enhanced and standard socialization. It turns out that enhanced socialization improve your allotment additional by about uh, 0.75 kilograms compared to standard socialization. So having that uh, enhanced socialization actually help. Some of you might not would like to know what, what happened with the price, printing price and card and not turn out to be not significant. What happened if keeping only the bottom ten percent? and now be not significant, so I was wrong. Because I was hoping that on the giving to the bottom 10% is going to improve a lot. Turn out that our imagination of our society, or benefit of giving only 10%, full 15 kilo of 1600 didn't happen. It's just the same. This is good understanding for us. Okay, so in summary, Distributing card improved allotment, reduced price, and overall increase the benefit for the pool. And further enhanced socialization added up by about close to a kilo additional benefit that you do is enhanced socialization. I think the theory for this person, this guy knows, that guy knows, my neighbor knows, supposed to be Priyadi, but Priyadi, my colleague from the MP, supposed to be getting it. So maybe it's going to have some, not credible enough, but help a lot in improving the program. So, so I can continue on this, continue yes. to buy up the thing. Because the second part is the, the bidding. This is the more interesting one. Again, my prior about doing this one is that it's so beautiful. This part is not here, right? Good. <laughs> we love community. We would like to be together, uh, you know, ever after. Let's just bring in community, and I change the community into outside theater. <laughs> so basically, it's rock here, wrong the asset. They should be here. You guys will know about this one. Um, by involving community, that Daniel laughed about this, right? It will improve the allotment because now you cut the crap of the monopoly by head of the village by involving everybody who would like to. But I'm not going to be very speculative. Let's just discuss about this because there are some problems about the application. So we also randomized this uh, distribution pilot. You know, uh, again the idea is to reduce leakage and missing rice because of the monopoly right given to the very tap. So how did we do this? Very simple. So we assigned 285 us doing nothing. And then 190 Phillips randomly selected. We have a baseline. Uh, it's a building activity. So how did we do it? So we do the socialization with the community, with the head of the village. Okay, but it's time for now to also invite people to pay price from this distribution point to the households. And every the best bidder should be allowed to bring rice to the household. What we have. And the second treatment is just monitoring and six Phillips. In the monitoring villages, actually, we only do socialization about the asking about everything, but we are not allowing outside the big, still the status quo. The idea is to check whether the impact is simply because of the information or is it because of bidding. Okay, that was the idea. And here is the, we did in April, February, uh, we have experienced facilitator. First, we had to be Kulon Wood in English by it from the village head. Explaining about monitoring and bidding and handling question and objection. Facilitate form of the formation of local committees. This consists of usually three to four. I went to NTB at that time with people to see the pilot before we scale this up as a real pilot. It was very timely. And the more people are excited coming and would like to participate in the rice distribution. And then the committee will select who is going to. Uh, who should be decided to win the bid. And here really the result. Yeah. 
High level participation of bidding process. This is very encouraging. 70% of the bidding pillars have more than one bidder, on average for 2.5, However, most local elites participate in the process. Who are those local elites? Ipong will tell later. Status quo not always overturned. About 50% of the bidding pillage, status quo they won the bidding. So the Chari, the Lura, the Kepala Tuson still carrying out the rice from the development of the household. And in about 70% of the bidding pillage, the price set by the winning distributor are the same. Except that promise will give you a better quality rice because quality is also another issue that has been brought into the complaint by beneficiaries. Okay, <coughs> in terms of the uh, rejection, about 30 villages, 15%, mostly in Lampung. They are very angry. What are you doing here? Go home. <laughs> this is my village, this is my jurisdiction. I don't care if you come from whoever, come or what, something like that. So, this is, we don't want to get involved in this one. So, I want you to know our cities are very challenging. Globally, the success rate of randomized control treatment is only 50%, and it costs you a lot of money. So you better figure it out, make sure before introducing randomized control treatment that your question is actually critically important, and you got support from government, from civil society, from anybody. Otherwise, you're screwed. Waste a lot of money. 50%, that's, that's what IPJ told me. He has many offices globally now, some are close, because it's very expensive to do the RCDs. Can be a billion, maybe. You can do many, many spells between and cities. That's true, I don't know. You have to do that. <coughs> and let's see. Uh, very well support by local leaders. In some cases, they're very, you know, one of here is good because I pretend I was uh, his family. From <laughs> the Tina system. No, that's not, sorry, I know that. You know, my grand, grand, grand. Father actually came from that area of home, so that was true. So every time the phone came there, it's my grandma, I'm going to talk to him. So they give full support from our study because it's good. This is for the better of the nation's community. This would have been very supportive, actually, but not every one supported it. Okay, let's just, here is the finding. Neither eligible nor eligible household get more price. Meaning, in fact, it's not that significant. Again, for those of you who are very familiar, I'm sorry because I, you know, I thought everyone here is an economist, no what economic help. But this is based on the very democratic uh, calculation. But this is just to show you about control monitoring and picking. So they are statistically significant about price being received in the last two months. So basically, that's a very simple one. So this is about uh, nine months then. Nine months of the year after the intervention, then we collected the uh, end line. Uh, there are some price fell, especially for the bidding, but not for the monitoring. But in terms of the quantity, we didn't find any significant, any impact, actually. That invited outside bidder to distribute price help. So maybe some of you here should have known that. No, we don't know. Otherwise, if you didn't try it, you will put this in the national program because it's politically sexy, it's good, it's for by local, you know, by community, but turn out to be not the way we were expecting it. And then as a result, no differences in subsidy because the price decrease is not big enough and the quality is not no change at all. So at the end, P9Q, price price and quality, it doesn't have any significant or statistically significant impact on the intervention. And, uh, but if you disaggregate, because we were thinking about maybe this is a very heterogeneous area, so we have to do some uh, additional calculation. Yes, indeed, if you look at the urban, uh, rural areas, actually the impact is quite some, but not <coughs> great. It's about 0 0.3 kilogram uh, in additional rice purchase, you see, no pain in the urban areas, but no, uh, in the in the rural areas, but not in the urban areas. No change statistically. And, but interestingly, the most satisfaction, because also we measure about satisfaction, about the benefits, but now they are more satisfied. 
with the bidding process. Maybe they are more exposed to, okay, I know now it cannot be blah, 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 blah. So overall satisfaction with the program, again, is learning about how Raskin is actually versus how it should be implemented, so that's more. So here is the result, the summaries, in terms of no impact on the quantity, changes price is very small, only 5%, not significant statistically. Uh, monitoring, no impact at all, except the overall satisfaction with the rice program improved the decrease for both the bidding and monitoring, because they know better now. Uh, it costs you quite some, 4.7 for the bidding and about a million per village, compared to about 3 million for the monitoring one. So except on the satisfaction, the rest we didn't find any impact by inviting outside to pay for Raskin from the distribution point to the household. Now, the summary of this one, the bidding was ineffective, the bid increasing was effective in increasing participation, people paid. On average, got 2.5, 3.5, but uh, the impact are not great. So we did not recommend this one to be a national, to be scale up as a national program. So if we compare the two innovation, uh, impact on Raskin, here is the card and here is the bidding. Basically, definitely that uh, the card in increased allotment by about 20%, 23%. In hand additional 15%, where the bidding, we didn't find any effect at all on the, in terms of how much the benefit you are receiving. And here is the table that I like the most. Just look at this. This is my take, uh, major takeaways is that you have to do plus skin card plus in hand socialization. Uh, that costs you about 10 million. This is about 10 million with the Udang Gandhi South billion is not that much. Then. So every grade will receive about a billion if you don't have money, that's a lot of land. And additional benefit is about close to 40% from the existing one. This is quite some of benefit for the rural villagers, okay? And this is the chain and rice, about two kilos, price fell by 14%. But this can be reduced because of the economies of scale. As you scale up nationally, maybe the cost may be not have, but maybe and again, I would like to remind you from the beginning that this is only cut received by about 30% of the whole price received. So in theory, you should multiply that by, this is only a quarter of the total benefit should have the card being received by the household. Why you cannot receive the card as I mentioned in the beginning? Okay, summary of future action. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Master Hari, so that, that uh, well, he is here now. So based on that study, and then we introduced this so-called the card to bring the social. It's so down here, he will be yelling, and that's not good enough, you're a card man, something like that. <laughs> so we introduced this card in June 2013, when we make a fuel subsidy adjustment. In addition to getting a lot more of last game, the card holder can also access to PLSM and PSM, actually because of the socialization issues at that time, the take-up is very small, but at the end we end up having about 60% take-up pay from the PSM. So this is Tampak Depan, signed by Armida Alicia Banawai Ali Armida, because he was not belong to any political party, he was considered to be independent. But there was just a span at that time, working minister, so we end up having a lot of So this is the okay, key, this is, uh, and then at the same time, not very effective then, okay, you know. What have the Ministry of Communication and Innovation did, except posting himself? Nothing. He never, <coughs> now, you know, put in public about social assistance program on television, you know, spending money on helping government to socialize the program. No, that's why it's not easy. Program has been there for 15 years. They didn't know what they are entitled to. Raske, they didn't go to talk to village of Zainab, how about it means press the RT, the RPAT URA. Where the money comes, they didn't know. Yeah, so they'll come to the land, they'll come below, six kilos, seven kilos, no more. So that, that's, that's the institutional issue. So I hope that the upcoming government understands about this. Okay. Every time I talk, you know, just about two weeks ago, well, 10 days ago, I was in a, a seminar with Army Dells on my lab, and then Pak Suryamin and Nari Pujimanda from PDIP. This in conjunction with Harry Statistics National. Everybody will seem to be powerful, and I will be but, but, but. And I keep saying very simple, you know, 
politics come and go. But evident knowledge, data will be there. Whoever is going to be, because it's very blue. You know? Because at that time the issue was papers has to be part of government, they have to do this and that and that. And I said, very simple. You know, that's what we have been trying to do with Smell for the last 15 years under the past. So yeah, it was under me, but now it is the possible. Is that that's not our dream? Is that always happened? No, not necessarily. But keep trying to do and to a rigorous evidence and eventually people will use it. No matter who's going to be the next Christian, vice Christian, who is in the parliament. Jadi jangan dumel kalau lagi berkuasa. That's what I said to Pak Arif juga at that time. When there is no political ploy like this, who is going to be head of parliament, blah, blah, blah. Harus begini, harus begitu, blah, 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 the PPS. I'm the chairman of the PPS community forum, so I said, don't get PPS into politics. Let them do as much as possible. Because there are still a lot need to be done with the PPS. So maybe if everybody listen to what I said. Okay, finally, itu ibu ini, jadi make sure that country C was very high and allowed the day after that KPS sign, to which later we did a study for observatory, but 97% received the card, not like what we intended to do. And limited knowledge, you know, and finally that bidding activity lead to small reduction in price, but not big enough. And then given that bidding process didn't work, probably we have to think about what did the bidding process done at the Kapupatan level to avoid this missing price. That was our intention actually, but very difficult get the approval from the law. And finally, as a policy option, I consider we may not, we may also want to think with the best uh, program as rollout. Is it because of the hype after you made your scrub and people who said obey it, and then six months later disappear? Because, you know, we don't, pay, we don't care, card is paper or not, so something like that. So we also have to continue put in place. That's the importance of monitoring and evaluation, because we never know. Maybe the first three months, it, have a big impact because of the hype, because of all the, you know, uh, publication, but then disappear because of all the time, because of lack of pressure and also participant of community. So that's it. That's all I would like to share with you, Master Lohan, and I would like to invite people also if you can sit here. Anyway, if, in case there are detailed question, how did you do socialization or the or things like that? I just visited a couple of places, but not. Thank you very much.